Welcome to Bud Burst. This video will walk through the process of having a student log in to their Bud Burst classroom and upload their first observation. To start, we need to log in. So we click on the login button. We go to the username and password that the teacher has sent you. To copy this, and paste it right here where it says student username, and copy and paste the password. The password is very long and complex, so it's easier to copy it and paste it in than it is to type it in. And then we click on login. Here we are in the classroom, well, in your site. And we click on Classrooms, and here is the classroom. We click on the classroom, and we can see that there's already one report, one observation. When it gets more complex, when there are 20 observations, we might want to just look at American Witch Hazel or Eastern Redbud. Let's go down and see more about what's here before we put our own observation in. We have two species that we're looking at, two different kinds of trees. The American Witch Hazel, if we click on that, we'll go to the American Witch Hazel page in Bud Burst, and we can read a little bit about it, find out where it is, and then we can go, uh, actually we'll go up, not back to plants, but back to our classroom. We can do the same for the Red Bud. And for this class, there are two locations where you can look at your witch hazel or your red bud. There's the kitchen window and Loyola Park. So Jane has a new observation, a one-time observation, and she took her picture. Here it is, and we're going to drag it and we're gonna drop it right there. There it is. I'm going to open that, whoops, so you can see it a little closer up. This is American Witch Hazel. All right, so we're going to close that, and we're going to make the rest of the report. Which plant did she observe? The American Witch Hazel. And where did she make that observation? She made it at the kitchen window. She made her observation on March 22nd. That date is embedded in the photograph. So sometimes it will automatically show up here. You don't even have to type it in. So what did she observe? Did she see leaves unfolding? I didn't see any leaves. Did she see flowers? She did, didn't she? Did she see just one flower? Or did she see several flowers? I think she saw early flowers. A few were open, but maybe not all. She did not see any fruit. And since there were no leaves, they certainly weren't changing color, nor were the leaves dropping. So, we can say whatever we want there. Your teacher might have some ideas, maybe what the temperature is, 
or whether it's been snowing or raining. But I just think it's a pretty tree, so I'm going to say that. And then I'm going to save my observation. And there it is. And there's the location. All right. Now I'm going to go back to observations. And now our classroom has two observations. And if I wanted to look at any one of them, I can click on it, even if I did not submit it, to find out what's there. And that's how to put up a new observation. Thank you for helping Budburst.